Hi, it's wallet time again. Yes, I'm in a continual search for my um, ideal slim wallet. And what we've got today is the Thread and Lever. That's the name of the uh, company, the a small one-man band company who make this, which was a uh, Kickstarter, but it is one of these uh, wrap wallets, and we'll take a squiz at it. Now, of course, on my main channel, I decided to put this on the second channel. It's not main channel worthy. Anyway, we took a look at this um, stealth Razer stealth wallet thing, and how it really wasn't suitable for my purposes. Um, there are a few issues with it, and since then, uh, the stealth uh, Razor Wallet uh, people, they contacted me and said, hey, look, uh, thanks for that, but we're working on a new one, a slightly bigger version of it, which might be suitable for my needs. So when they've got the first prototype of that ready, they'll uh, send it to me. So maybe that will, um, yeah, it was just uh, too small. It didn't have the capacity. And of course, this is my uh, old wallet, which was, you know, when everything was in there, it was like that thick or something. And here's the new thread and leather one. And I've been using it for like, last week and a half, two weeks actually, I think, and I, I really like it. So this one did actually start out as a Kickstarter a couple of years ago. I think they raised like $130,000 or something like that, and they've shipped them all, and since then they've been, uh, you know, just shipping them to new customers. It's not cheap. It is uh, $79, and it's laser cut and uh, hand-stitched in the United States of America, New York, uh, I believe, and you can choose different, like, colors of, uh, like, the tanning for the leather and also colors for the stitching as well, which is quite nice. So I chose the uh, red and the black like this, and I really like the compact form factor. It is not much bigger than just, you know, one credit card, basically, um, stacked up like that. And its capacity is uh, stated to be up to 10 cards and up to 15 notes. So eh, it's borderline that capable. Let me show you. All right, so what I've got in there at the moment is uh, 10 cards. I've got four cards uh, in here. These are all uh, various credit and bank cards, and really you can't put any more than four in there. And this little pocket under here is designed for slipping your notes under. And I've got another three cards in there. That's the absolute maximum you can slip under there. And that's Huxley. Isn't he cute? And uh, yeah, I you really can't squeeze any more than that under there. And I've got another three cards in the outside pocket like this which is uh, these are just uh, blank cards so they're slightly slimmer and you can barely get three in so my first criticism of this is that it's just a smidgen too small the pockets if they were just slightly larger if the dimensions were just slightly bigger you'd be able to slide in and out the cards more comfortably as it stands trying to get these cards out of here is actually quite difficult and this one's designed to slide you know you can push it out like that and then uh, of course you'd have the strip on the back and then you could um, you know slide it through the machine and stuff like that and well that's okay but really that is with three cards in there three in the other side it's like it's really difficult to get these cards out so they just like just an extra millimeter would have probably done the business and i've got how many notes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten notes they set up to 15 notes and well yeah okay you can technically get it all in there it does spring open like that i've actually put because I've got an extra card in here at the moment and uh, some new notes which haven't uh, worn in. And yeah, it does flip open a little bit. Not as bad as I found that the uh, Stealth Wallet did. But one of the good things about this, let me show you. Sorry for the crotch shot, but anyway, I don't need to put this in my uh, side pocket, for example. And especially when I'm wearing jeans, you can just put it in your front pocket and you can easily sit down and there's like, you can't really feel it. There's barely any uh, profile there. And um, the funny thing about this, it's a bit disconcerting. It's so small that you think that you don't, oh, where, where, where's my wallet? You used to this, you know, large, big, thick wallet like this. And then you go to this little tiny one, which takes up a lower profile and it's a big difference. Yes, I do wear have bare feet in the lab. Yeah, so I'm actually uh, slightly under capacity at the moment uh, because I don't have an extra five notes in there and I haven't got my little uh, go get card in there. They reckon you can do 10 cards, 15 notes, plus like three or four business cards or something like that. No, 
No, you're not going to get that. I think the capacity is a bit, you know, marketing exaggerated, I think. You know, maybe you can squeeze it in there, but I, like, no, I, if they just made it slightly bigger, it would have been better. But, as I said, I am quite happy with this. I have been using it for a couple of weeks. Now, the main, one of the annoying things is that, A, getting your cards out, um, yeah, you have your most your frequent used one on top, and then you can slide that out, you know, relatively easily. But having four cards in there is a tight fit. Um, you know, you can put an extra something or other under there. Like, you might put a couple of business cards under there, perhaps. But, yeah... The other thing is, on the outside here, I don't normally have... I, I actually have one plus my um, access card for the building, and they're thicker uh, than your normal credit card. So I can just fit that plus another card under there like that, and uh, three cards on the top. But that's... Well, actually, I normally only have two in there, um, plus my go-get card, and that's really stretching it. Uh, it's... Oh, it's just slightly annoying that it just one or two cards extra and maybe a couple of millimeters longer or something like that so there were less frictions in the card coming out would have been better for something like that anyway you can actually order this with the id pocket like this for your driver's license your id or whatever which is you know, big in the us when you got a flashy car your id card for everything right here they don't care here you know you can hop on a plane you don't even have to show your id well, a domestic flight anyway. So yeah, but as I said, I've been using it for a couple of weeks and I've been quite happy with it. The only other thing is, is that every time you want to go to get a card out, you got it like all your money's flapping around in the breeze, right? Everyone can see how much cash you got in your wallet. And it's like, and if you want to get this card out of here, well, you know, ugh. like, yeah, I could put my most used credit card on the outside perhaps, and I might reconfigure it. So yeah, that just might be, you know, my configuration thing. I could put my most used uh, couple of cards, uh, like credit cards, on the outside uh, here perhaps, and then I could uh, slide those out without opening the wallet. So it, I guess it's a configuration thing, how you actually uh, use it. And no, it doesn't have any RFID protection, but when you group your cards together all in a bunch like this, especially for the uh, 13 megahertz uh, cards, which is all your credit cards and stuff, which is the ones you care about, um, and then, like, it's not a problem. Or you can just uh, put that with a bit of alfoil. I've done a video on that, which I'll link in actually analyzing and uh, measuring the RFID um, access, you know, uh, trying to do these RFID wallets and those sort of things work. So, anyway, um, yeah, I do actually like it. I think the design is really quite nice. Um, just slightly bigger. Please, thread and lever, just make a you know, a, a max version or something that holds an extra couple of cards is just a couple of millimeters longer like that just to, you know, ease getting the cards in and out because I really, it's still, neither of these wallets have the capacity of my old big fat one. It, it, they, they just, you know, it's still, they, they aren't close. So it's a compromise. So anyway, uh, I really like it though and it's my main use wallet has been for a couple of weeks and I'll continue to use this unless something better comes along. It is quite expensive, of course, but, you know, it's handmade by a couple in New York, and I, I don't mind paying for quality, and it seems like really good quality stuff. So I'll leave a link to the website down below if you want to check it out. Anyway, let me know what uh, you're carrying, and if you've got links to a better wallet. But I do like this wraparound thing. I think I am sold on this uh, credit card size form factor rather than this one, because, uh, like... It's, yeah, okay, it's a nice slim wallet, but I, I, I do think I actually prefer this for an everyday carry in terms of, like, sticking it in my front jeans pocket and stuff like that, because this, I, I could almost never get that in my front jeans pocket. That was, like, a real effort. Like, if I had to go sit down somewhere, of course, you can't sit down with a big fat wallet in your back pocket, so I'd have to take it out and either leave it on the table or try and stuff it half into my front pocket, of course. I couldn't get the whole, this whole thing in monster into my front pocket and then sit down comfortably with this. No problems whatsoever, and I don't even feel it's there. Um, absolutely fantastic. So it doesn't restrict me setting down even with, you know, fairly tightish jeans and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, am I still living in the 80s? Anyway, <laughs> stonewash all the way.
So anyway, yeah, I do actually like this and I do uh, recommend it if you're after a slim wallet. So let me know what you're carrying and uh, if you know of any others with this form factor. Because I don't think I'd go back to this squarish form factor after uh, trying the rectangular credit card size one. I really like this wrap form factor. It's really quite neat. I, maybe, I guess, the only other thing would be to stop it flying open, you know. Or maybe go back to old Velcro wallets. Oh, once again, back in the 80s. So this is how we did it in the 80s. You'd have your nylon footy shorts. These aren't footy shorts, but they're gym shorts. Nylon footy shorts, and you'd have your Velcro wallet half hanging out of your Grundies. That's how you did it. Beauty. Let's bring that back. Anyway, if you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. As always, comment and discuss down below. Let the wallet wars begin. Catch you next time.